What's up guys, Justin here. So today I wanna to talk about a video that I found on YouTube just a couple days ago, and it's from the YouTube channel Dirty Tesla. And I'm not too familiar with this guy, but he posted a video showing Tesla's new full self-driving software. And keep in mind, this is a beta version that was released only a couple weeks ago. So I want to go over this video and I wanna talk about the implications of it because this video is probably one of the top videos I've found in terms of showing off just how advanced Tesla's full self-driving software is. So we'll watch this clip and I'm not gonna show it full screen because I want you to go over to his channel to watch it. Uh, and I also don't wanna get into any uh, you know, copyright trouble. So I'm not gonna show it full screen, but I'm gonna show it here up in the corner and just let you watch it and then we'll discuss it. And the reason I wanna talk about this video today is because the autonomous full self-driving software, whatever you wanna call it, is very, very crucial to Tesla's long-term stock price predictions. And what I mean by that is for Tesla to go up substantially from this point, it is going to have to show meaningful progress on their full self-driving software. Right now, Tesla stock has a market cap of $567 billion, and its price right now is $599. So that's a pretty big market cap, guys. So for Tesla to reach a trillion dollars or $2 trillion, there's gonna have to be a lot of developments in the autonomous driving portion of their business. And to show you how important the autonomous driving software is to Tesla's long-term stock price, let's go over to ARK's website. So you can see here in this chart from ARK Invest that for Tesla to jump up significantly from its current market cap of $500 billion, the, the autonomous driving software has to happen. And if we look at this chart, we can see a big jump up from roughly $3,400 to $15,000 a share. And keep in mind, these prices are from before Tesla did their stock split. So currently Tesla has roughly a $3,000 pre-stock split uh, price. This chart has it at a median price target of $2,700. And if you look at this chart, you can see it's a 2024 price target. That is what the, they're saying here. So <laughs> this is a price target that is four years out. And ARK is probably one of the most bullish investment firms on Tesla. So Tesla has already hit or exceeded, I should say, their median price target, and it's not even the end of 2020 yet. So for Tesla to make meaningful progress from this point going forward, they are going to have to make significant progress on this full self-driving software. So with that being said, let's look at this video and then I'll talk about why I think this video is so significant when it comes to Tesla being able to release their full self-driving software. So I know that was a quick video and it happened really quickly, but let's go ahead and take some screenshots of this and break down exactly what happened. So you can see here in this screenshot that the cameras, which the Tesla full self-driving system uses, detects the deer and puts a yellow box around it. Keep in mind that Tesla only uses cameras. They, they don't use what other companies like Waymo and recently Xpeng said they were using, which is LiDAR technology. Cameras are essentially the same as the human eye. And what I mean by that is a camera is gonna see or, or create a picture that's exactly the same as what a human is going to see. So the advantages of using a camera are that they can recognize objects a lot easier. And you know they can also read text. So they can read the speed limit on speed limit signs and they can read the words on signs so they, they know what a stop sign looks like because they can read the word stop. There's a lot of advantages to cameras over LiDAR, but in this specific example, the cameras are working really well. They picked up the deer before it really even crossed the road. It came to the edge of the road and looked like it was about to cross, and the camera picked it up, put a yellow box around it, and then as the deer moved across the street, the system on the Tesla tracked it and tried to plot a course around the deer. So this is really impressive. The other thing I noticed about this video was he's driving on a dirt road in the middle of the night and the car is accurately sensing the sides of the road and is even putting in its own mid lane divider. There's no divider in the middle of the road because it's obviously a dirt road, but the car is doing it 
automatically. It's recognizing the road and it's recognizing obstacles around it. And at the end of this video, this guy, just for the fun of it, switches off his lights and sees how the Tesla can drive. And the Tesla still accurately can see the edges of the road and it just keeps on driving. And he you know, starts it out at like five miles an hour and then he bumps it up to 30 miles an hour. And it can see just as well as a human can, if not better. So this system I think is, is, is at a tipping point. And when it comes to Tesla stock, I think we could see by the end of 2024, ARK invests their, their price target of $15,000 a share become a lot more realistic. Now, keep in mind, $15,000 a share is the pre-price stock split. So currently Tesla stock is at $600 a share, which equates to $3,000 a share pre-price, pre-stock price split. So that would be about five times from current levels. So we could see Tesla reach $3,000 a share by 2024 if they can actually fully roll out this autonomous software, driving software by that time. Now, something else that I want to talk about is that, you know, the analysts don't really understand this. All the analysts that you see on CNBC, you know, they're guys, they're, they're older guys, maybe in their 40s, 50s, 60s and upwards. And they're just, they, they don't, they don't get it. They talk about Tesla and they still compare it to other car manufacturers. And they say Tesla is wildly overvalued because GM only has a market cap of $30 billion or so. And so Tesla is wildly overvalued and it's going to come down. I'm very optimistic after seeing this video about the capabilities of full self-driving software. And obviously uh, there's gonna be a lot of videos out there guys about how it fails and how full self-driving software didn't do this right or didn't do that right. But keep in mind, this is AI, this is machine learning. This is an algorithm that's going to continually improve and it should continue to learn based on its past mistakes. So yes, there's going to be videos of Tesla full self-driving software messing up or not doing things correctly, but that should get fixed in, in, in a short amount of time. Let's talk about one last thing and then I'll go ahead and end this video. This came out on December 2nd and it says, Elon Musk is extremely confident Tesla will release full autonomy in some jurisdictions next year. So this is kind of a running joke among the Tesla community because Musk has always been saying that it's gonna come out next year, it's gonna come out next year. You know, just wait, just be patient, it's coming. I do think full self-driving software not the beta version, but the, the actual full, full software could be released in some jurisdictions or be approved, like he's saying, next year. I mean, I really think that is a possibility. And I hope that it happens as an in, uh, investor in Tesla because without the full self-driving software, without that autonomous capability, Tesla stock is overvalued. And I'm saying that based on ARK Invest price targets, which they are they have consistently been a lot more bullish than a lot of the other analysts. So I hope that this video signals a tipping point for full self-driving software, but who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Also hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.